Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Shadow Stitch, your coach of the Charlotte Chandelures, and today we have our week three for the Prep Hub Draft League, where we're going to be taking on Nigo Ryan and the Lily Pool FC. So, yeah. Um, so, last week we did not do super well, and I was not really feeling some of the members on the team, most notably Enamorous. So, as you can see, we actually made a few transactions. First up, we swapped out Enamorous for Iron Bundle. I know a lot of people think Bundle is a fraud. Of course, it has to, you know, only go for Hydro Pump and stuff like that. But I am here to tell you, Bundle is amazing. I have drafted this Pokemon before. It is so fun to use. And it patches up a lot of problems that we had. For one, it still provides a really powerful, strong special attacker, but gives us some real speed. 136 is an amazing speed tier to have. And yeah, it's just overall a really good Pokemon. Has pivoting moves, can hit really hard. And hey, with Slowking on the board as well, with that chili reception, we don't even have to really worry about Hydro Pump because we can spam Blizzard, and that's cool. <laughs> so yeah, overall just a really fun Pokemon. I think it is a really cool Pokemon, and I am very happy to be able to swap that out. So, however, uh, we did have to give up an extra point for us to get bundle and that's why we had to drop electrode and we picked up Bennett. so Bennett, obviously nowhere near as cool as getting bundle but it does serve a pretty neat role on the team being a ghost type we do have a lot of hazards on the team we have pretty much every hazard that we you know need other than like uh, webs so having a spin blocker is pretty cool and Bennett is pretty dang strong you know hits really hard with poltergeist and soccer punch and stuff like that so uh, while it's not really as crazy uh, of a Pokemon you know it is pretty good <laughs> pretty good and serves a decent role but enough about all of that let's go ahead and take a peek over at uh, Nico's team and they got the Goldengo uh, and the Deoxys Defense, along with Pheasantipity, Snorlax, and Blastoise with a, for a ton of bulk. Like, this team is so bulky. It's crazy good. But some great offense as well. Some really fast, strong threats in the Kilowattrol. And, of course, my beloved Weavile. Uh, Lilligant can pose a setup threat. And there's no sun on this team. So, uh, outside of some manual setup, uh, it's pretty much going to be stuck to, like, Hustle, Victory Dance sets, possibly. Uh, and then, of course, Whizcash and Dragonair for some low-tier options, which is pretty neat. So, let's go ahead, though. We did have to ramble a lot talking about some transactions, so let's finally get into the team that we're bringing this week. First up, we got our dedicated lead of Crocodile. We're running basically no bulk on the scene, just the way the speed tiers worked out. But we're rocking Mirror Herb with Earthquake, Knockoff, Taunt, and Stealth Rock. So the design of this is it stops any like lead setup and stuff like that, especially something like a Shell Smash Blastoise. Um, in like a sword dance weavile or anything like that we're dedicated to stay in and either get off a knockoff set up rocks hit something really hard with an earthquake we can taunt a deoxys and again the mirror pops if we knock off into like a weakness policy that could be really good uh, and just in general just be a really generally bulky annoying kind of threat uh, to you know damage a lot of things on the team so not a ton on the team really wants to switch into the combination of knockoff and earthquake we hit a ton of things super effectively and of course losing items is never good next up we got a little bit of annoyance from the whimsicott encore is really great to stop any uh, silly setup from things that I can actually hit with Encore, like Snorlax, uh, Blastoise, Pheasantipity, or maybe even like a Deoxys trying to go for Cosmic Power or something like that. So, of course, Weavile and Goldengo, we can't hit with Encore or Leech Seed in the case of Goldengo, but that's why we got Shadow Ball and Moonblast, because they do... Uh, decent damage into those things so uh, if it's a really bulky specially defensive goldango shadow balls kind of get a bounce off but we don't really have any other option to deal with it 
course, we got to cover those physically offensive threats, and that's why we got Skarmory. So Rocky Helmet, as per usual, is really good. Brave Bird is, of course, our great stab. Drill Run, actually, I didn't even know it got this move this generation, which is pretty cool. But that lets us hit Goldango and Pheasantipity for pretty dang good damage. Roost, of course, for recovery. And Spikes look fantastic here, of course. He does have the spinner, but, you know, he has to dedicate to that. And if we have a Rocky Helmet intact still, then he has to spin into the Rocky Helmet, getting more free damage. Big old Glow King has to make an appearance, as you always know. Psy Shock is great to hit the Pheasantipity on its weaker defense, and Flamethrower is great for the Goldango. Toxic is pretty much there as a good dedicated option to be able to uh, shut down a uh, non-substitute Deoxys defense or a bulky Snorlax or anything like that if it's not running immunity. And then, of course, Chili Reception is to get us on out of there, get that Regenerator boost going. Cassie Berry, of course, is really good for the Goldango. Uh, we considered maybe Culber, but, uh, you know, we don't really want to be staying in on Weavile because we're not really going to be knocking it out with Flamethrower anyway. So, you know, having that option against a more offensive Goldango is pretty solid. Of course, our little bundle of joy has to make an appearance and Hydro Pump, Freeze Dry, Blizzard, Flip Turn with the Heavy Duty Boots and Significant Speed and Special Attack Investment is what's on order this week. So yeah, uh, we are just here to hit really hard, outspeed everything naturally on the entire team uh, and just just be really good. So yeah, of course he has some bulky off bulky offense and just some walling kind of Pokemon, but they can't really take repeated offenses from Bundle. And with Flip Turn, Heavy Duty Boots, we can very safely just come in, fire off a fire up a hit, and then Flip Turn on out and get just even more free chip damage. Blizzard is fantastic as a secondary option, and with that chili reception setting up the snow. Um, we have no real reason not to run it. And last but not least, we have Flame Orb, Marvel Scale, Milotic finally making an appearance this season. Scald and Dragon Tail are really great for just dishing out decent damage, potentially getting a burn, and to phase things out. Recover is good, and Flip Term is a really solid uh, pivoting option. With our defense investment, we can take hits from Weavile very well. Uh, especially with the flame orb activated and we have a little bit of speed and a little bit of special defense to be able to hit certain benchmarks on specific calcs. So that's the team this week. I'm not going to lie, I feel way more confident now that I got Iron Bundle on the team. And sure, that may be an oxymoron considering that we have to hit hydro pumps and stuff like that, but... Uh, you know, I think it's just uh, such a really good Pokemon and I just feel way better about the team as a whole with it because I think I can use it a little bit better than I was using an Amorous. So, but uh, overall, this seems like a decent matchup. Uh, it's not going to be the easiest to break through some of this bulk, but I think we definitely got the team to do it. But with that said, thank you all so much for stopping by and I hope you guys enjoy the battle. Hey, how's it going everybody? So, um, for some reason, my microphone was all messed up, so, uh, yeah, this game, is, we're actually gonna be post comming it, so, cool, yay, uh, it's just so you guys don't have to hear, like, constant static and stuff, so, you know, knock on wood, I have, uh, it fixed, <laughs> so, hopefully, uh, going forward, we won't have as many issues, but... Let's go ahead and just get into it. So, boom. You see my team on the left. You see, if you watch the team preview, then awesome. You're great. Uh, but you see what he's bringing. Uh, got the Kilowatchel, Blastoise, the Goldengo, Snorlax, Deoxys Defense, and the Pheasantipity. So, very surprised to not see Weavile. Weavile looked pretty dang good, despite, like, my defensive pieces and stuff like that. But, um, that's okay. So, uh... Kilowatch roll most likely is going to be like max speed or something like that. I think it needed to be max speed to outspeed like ape or something. I don't remember. I, I don't remember the how the speed tiers worked out, but um, Blastoise is a little bit annoying, um, but you know, we're going to be leading our dedicated lead crocodile, so let's finally go ahead and just get right on into this. Uh, starting things off, I think 
we're gonna be getting close to it. so but yeah so deoxy i'm expecting potentially lead deoxys defense here try to get up some hazard and something like that maybe i could see pheasantipity looks okay i guess um kilowatt could be a pretty scary lead uh potentially but you know our uh ground typing definitely helps with that but let's go ahead just just see what you know, what they got bringing so shout outs to nico so boom rebecca leads and that is going to be the blastoise and we're leading off with crocodile so uh get the intimidate down um just in case it is a physical blastoise that's pretty cool um i kind of expected maybe taunting uh potentially to stop a uh, shell smash turn one but i feel like knocking off here is really strong of course i have the mirror herb so if it is a uh shell smash blastoise then i'm good i'm cooking um rocks would be really nice to be able to set up here be really good but with the blastoise right there uh nothing to really deter it you know like a spin blocker or something from spinning other than my rocky helmet on skarm i don't think that's really necessary but we get to knock off do a significant damage and knock off a rocky helmet which is actually really big we see a flip turn come out um and you know does significant damage to crocodile right here which is pretty decent so um yeah a lot of things could potentially come in here but like i said in the in the team breakdown crook just does really well into a lot of things uh we've already knocked off a an important item uh we can do some solid damage to a lot of other different things on this team uh and we do get to see the pheasantipity coming out so of course pheasantipity is naturally faster than us uh but i'm willing to take that risk so we do learn right here he is faster and takes out crocodile with moonblast so was a risk i don't think it's a risk that i should have taken but if i didn't then if he was slower like a more defensive set for one he probably wouldn't have killed me with the moonblast and two i would have done significant damage but uh skarmory comes in here i'm not really expecting this to do too much to me so i'm just gonna go ahead and set up a spike as the kilowatt roll comes in now this is the thing with this is the thing though uh because my crook is is gone it doesn't really have anything to stop the kilowatt roll going for a volt switch but i do have a slow king that can still take the hit pretty dang well um so yeah definitely a little biting myself right now for not uh going going into uh and keeping my um keeping my crocodile around just for the typing alone but you know nonetheless uh we can take that thunderbolt pretty well i think we learned that we're he's modest off of that and uh yeah so uh you can obviously volt switch or u-turn right here we do see the u-turn so um that's pretty good and we're gonna be able to chili reception get that regenerator going which is solid of course and rebecca makes its way back in so spike is just so good <laughs> i love spikes it's just so good um and we're able to set up that snow and switch right on out of here so uh, i have a few options i can of course go into bundle uh, I could go into Milotic like I'm doing here just so I can get that flame orb uh, up and running as soon as possible for any of the physical stuff in the back and uh, I am expecting a um, either a switch a smash here but we do see the rapid spin getting rid of my spike but that's perfectly okay I can always just get up a spike uh, later uh, somewhere else and we're just definitely chipping this thing down also uh i believe if it was if it was an assault vest blastoise um he had a solid chance of living the freeze ride so that's why i don't didn't go into bundle um so we see a nasty plot on the pheasantipity very scary but not really because we got flip turn we can switch on out of here uh, and we do have our Whimsicott, uh, which can, of course, shut that down with Encore. Um, so, yeah, Whimsicott comes in. Uh, we do see Black Sludge, so no Mental Herb shenanigans or anything like that. So, I was really expecting the Goldango to be, like, the switch into this Whimsicott. Because I, it, I can't really do anything to it other than hit it with a Shadow Ball. But, um, Kilowatt Roll ends up being the switch in uh, as I try to Encore. It's usually safe to try to just you know pre not over predict you know go you want to be safe and go for the encore and stuff like that so that's why i chose to do but and i also have the glow king right here so 
U-turn gets to come out, um, but I, I don't think there's really anything that's immediately threatening to Glow King, you know, on this team. There's no Weavile. Um, this Snorlax definitely can come in here, but it's definitely not going to be enough to stop me. So, of course, this Snorlax could have, um, could have immunity, but I'm willing to take the risk. And I get paralyzed, of course, on the first possible chance that he can. So, that's definitely very unfortunate. Um, uh, so yeah, and we do confirm that it is immunity. So, um, yeah, that's, that's great. So, a little bit of a wasted turn there. Um, I definitely think that I'm taking too many risks, you know, hindsight 2020 and all that. Uh, too many risks, uh, unnecessary risks here. Um, but, of course, I have the Skarm um, here, and I'm able to just get up another Spike, uh, which is pretty good. So, Psycho comes out, uh, and he's going to go into... Uh, the Kilowatt rule once again. So if I didn't take that body slam, you know, my I, I would be in a significantly higher health. Um, so yeah, uh, not the best situation here. So yeah, he did choose to go for U-turn last time uh, over the Thunderbolt. So uh, there is definitely some merit to potentially staying in. Um, but I choose to make a mid-ground play, go for the Whimsicott. Uh, Whimsicott actually does, threatens most things that are not like Goldango on the team and can take the Thunderbolt pretty dang well. Um, where we have pretty significant special defense investment, uh, we can Encore it into Thunderbolt, which is pretty cool, uh, and then start setting up Leech Seed on things. Again, though, I'm really expecting Goldango to be the switch in here because, you know, Goldango uh, just kind of shuts down Whimsicott and all it wants to really do uh, other than hit it with a weak Shadow Ball. So, um, but yeah, the Pheasant Divinity chooses to come in here, though, takes a spike damage and the Encore. So now I know it can't really set up on me, um, which is definitely nice. Uh, well, it can, but uh, of course I'm fearing the poison move. I'm going to go into Skarm, though, um, and, you know, I'm I don't, I'll be straight up, I did not know uh, this thing's moveset very well, because, you know, I didn't know that it got Heat Wave, <laughs> so it chooses to go for Heat Wave, um, which is, of course, a great mid-ground between Skarmory and Whimsicott, um, so, if, yeah, I definitely should have looked into that a little bit more, Milotic was definitely a better, safe, safer switch in right there, or even... Something like Glow King would have been really nice, though. But we're choosing to go into Milotic now, um, and that's fine uh, for the most part. So uh, we're going to just take another Heat Wave. Now, he's only locked into one move, so um, I don't really know what this thing's moveset is so far. Uh, it's Moonblast, Heat Wave. We know it's Black Sludge, Nasty Plot. And I don't know if the last move is a poison move. Uh, it could be something to hit Glow King. I'm kind of leaning more towards, like, Roost at this point. Uh, though, but we do see Rebecca coming in here, taking another spike hit, and we're able to go ahead and finally switch into the little bundle boy himself right now, and we can threaten heavily with freeze dry onto this. So Rebecca does have to, of course, take a switch out, and the Snorlax makes a switch back in. But look at that spike go, baby! And of course, he's gonna take the freeze dry pretty well. Um, but I can just flip turn on out, and look at that. You got you took us, you had to take a spike, you had to take the hit you were going for, and I get to flip turn. So, like, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter that you know my damage isn't doing that much, you're not gonna do anything. It's, this is why bundle's so good, y'all. Stop frauding on bundle. But <laughs> so, Skarmory has to come in here, though. Of course, Skarmory's pretty low, so a heat, ra heat crash is going to knock it out, but I do get a little bit of uh, recovery right there. And just in case it was like uh, trying to rest or something like that, um, you know, that would have obviously been a great switch in. But Whimsicott can come out here. I'm feeling pretty confident that Moonblast is going to be able to do decent amount, decent damage to this thing, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, but of course, the Pheasant Dipty makes its reappearance. So I can't really do anything with this thing, but I need to start making plays. I'm definitely far behind. I've make, made some plays that. Um, just haven't really paid off or just we're just straight up just not good plays um, so we're gonna pop a leech seed off onto this thing though uh, it hasn't shown me a poison move and my calc is telling me I can live 
a heat a, a heat wave so getting that poison uh, getting that lead seed down it's going to start chipping this thing away and counteracting that black sludge and as you saw it went for nasty plot i can go straight for an encore now i'm not i'm not afraid of anything so uh, definitely thinking Goldango has to be coming in now, right? Goldango has to. It's like the entire point of this thing. And there it is. Takes the spike. Gets a far off a Shadow Ball and see what this thing's got going on. It actually does significant damage, but a critical hit. So I'm not really thinking that based on that damage, a normal one, normal Shadow Ball will be able to knock it out. So I'm going to make the safe switch into the Milotic as it goes for a recover. I was definitely expecting a bulky uh, Goldango. The crit kind of messes up some of the calcing a little bit to see what's going on there. But um, yeah, that, that was definitely a little bit unfortunate to get that crit there because I would like to have really known what was going on. But uh, that's okay. So <laughs> we do know that's more of a bulky Goldango at least. So um, yeah, I don't really know what I was ex what I was thinking really here. I'm not gonna lie. Because uh, I just flip turn and I go right back into thing. Why didn't I just stay in and shadow ball again if I was just gonna go right back into it? So, but uh, we fire off a shadow ball. It actually does uh, not too much, but it goes for a shadow ball again. So I'm expecting maybe it's trying to go for that, but it gets a spadef drop. Honestly, probably didn't matter too much. Um, I'm actually very fortunate that he didn't even he didn't try to go for something uh, something else. Uh, like a make it rain that would have been really bad, but you know, whatever but choosing to switch out here doesn't want to get it chipped down even more and uh, Yeah, pheasant dippity makes a reappearance shadow ball is not gonna do too much to this thing uh, I don't get any spit after drops though big sag uh, And now I'm fully expecting him to be going for some kind of offense right here doesn't want to be stuck into that So glow king is the switch in right here for sure um and you know we, we should be able to take take these hits pretty well heat wave comes off does <laughs> does like nothing does no freaking kinds of damage and definitely expecting a switch of some kind um so i'm just gonna go ahead and chili goes for the dark pull so now we know its entire moveset which is pretty cool so don't get flinched which is um, which is fortunate which is very nice um and now i have to go into the little bundle boy so yeah that's that's pretty nice so all right so yeah um i don't think that i'm gonna be able to one shot this thing but bundle pheasant debbie's not very strong so i could definitely take one hit i get the go for the blizzard moon blast and of course he gets the toxic chain so yeah my my opponent definitely has been incredibly fortunate in this match has gotten so much hacks in their favor and it's definitely very very annoying so um i choose the flip turn here expecting a switch uh definitely probably should have just gone for gone for another blizzard um but yeah that that poisons really really sucks because uh it puts my bundle on a timer and um my bu my bundle does not like being on a timer so uh i try to just make it make a switch here with the chili reception again uh, pivoting pivoting around uh, going into whimsicott now this time because it's the only thing I have left that can outspeed this and uh, yeah um, so yeah definitely my opponent has gotten a lot of hacks in their favor um, I remember in this uh, in the call in the um, not the call the live comp I was definitely very upset um, and uh, as you can imagine so but we're gonna fire off a shadow ball here um, and the Deoxys is gonna come in. I was really afraid this Deoxys was gonna be like weakness policy or something like that, but the shadow ball comes out uh, and it does nothing but no weakness policy, which is pretty cool. So I don't really know what to expect from this Deoxys, but I know like it's most likely not gonna be able to do a whole lot to me and we see the leftovers. So um, it can't really set up, of course, cause Encore, I can leech seed it. I'm not gonna recover too much because you know Deoxys has a very low special, uh, low HP stat. Um, but uh, just try choose to set up a spike, um, which okay, no, that's fine, I suppose. But I'm gonna keep whittling away down on this thing. Um, it's not the best for like my walls and stuff like that. But of course, bundle with the boots, it's not really gonna affect him too too much. 
Um, I'm just gonna start firing off some moon blasts as chooses to set up a single spike and doesn't want to be staying in on all of these hazards. So spike comes in onto the pheasantipity, and I'm finally able to knock that thing out. Probably could have knocked it out, uh, what three or four turns ago uh, with another blizzard, but uh, yeah, probably should have. Probably should have. Honestly, definitely should have. But um, yeah, so. Uh, I'm actually at pretty decent health though with my Whimsicott uh, here. I think I'm dang near full. So uh, he doesn't really have anything that can really fully take advantage of this. So the Kilowattro comes out. Yeah, I'm two points off of full. And I'm just able to fire off a Moonblast. Actually, two at KOs, but an Air Slash comes out and it critical hits. So. <laughs> Yeah, with my special special defense investment. Um, now I calced it later once I've you know got his his spreads and stuff like that. So shout out to Nico for that. But yeah, that was definitely a roll to kill. It was a roll slightly in his favor. I think it was like a 56% roll or something like that. But the fact that he got a crit just instantly <laughs> pissed me off <laughs> like so much. Like. And if he was timid, obviously I wouldn't have outsped if he was timid, but like, you know, I didn't get a special attack drop. I got the crit and he got the hit. So like, it's just like, come on, man. It's just not fair. <laughs> so, but, um, yeah. So anyway, the Blastoise comes in. He's able to do that. I definitely should have clicked freeze dry. There's no reason for me to flip turn there. Uh, so yeah, on top of like, on top of all this, and like, this is what's nice about watching back games and stuff like that you're able to say you know in the moment i was obviously incredibly frustrated um with this this but i'm on top of being frustrated and getting hacked out i am not making the best plays <laughs> so there's that so yeah sure uh sure i don't think that i necessarily played the good here but i also did get kind of screwed over by hacks a good bit i'm not gonna lie um, but, uh, yeah, so, and as you see, I don't even get a, I, I haven't gotten a skull burn with this thing at all. So, but, uh, yeah, so my Lodic here, um, goes, you know, just gonna keep chipping away at this thing with the, uh, with the skull to recover to try to keep myself nice and healthy. I can still take a hit from the Kilowattro, which is pretty cool. Um, I go for flip turn. I'm really hoping that I can knock it out here, but of course with the flame orb debuff, not even close <laughs> like what are you thinking cody just go for another skull just, just just do your best um so yeah uh i should definitely be faster than this blastoise though with bundle um but of course with bundle on the timer with the poison is not the best situation so uh yeah i i don't want i need to really preserve the health on my bundle and that's why just ha getting that freaking getting that damage just was so bad on bundle so i go into glow king um so i can set up the snow one more time so i can at least when i bring in bundle i can uh try to just lock in, lock into the blizzard but unfortunately because i'm pivoting in i do have to take the poison damage uh and start that toxic timer so um yeah i'm able to i am able to go for the blizzard and he has jet so that even you know hurts my timer even more which is fantastic so yeah um <laughs> yeah th th it just goes to show you this the hacks in this game were just not it so um i can live one more tick of poison though which is nice uh as the snorlax makes its way in um however if i don't switch out now i will die to the poison so i'm definitely clicking that flip turn here um i do think that i'll be able to beat this with my mylotic uh so yeah definitely gonna go ahead and swap into that uh, pretty much anything that he goes for should be perfectly fine um and uh you know despite that that earthquake comes out does nothing because milo is a beast um and i'm able just to you know recover up a little bit uh i'll eventually be able to finish this thing off with a scald um and but i choose to just go straight for the scald so um yeah not too not too terrible in this situation so um of course this brings in the kilowatt roll pretty safely not gonna lie um but you know it is what it is so what you gonna do right so uh yeah overall uh, yeah, I, I definitely think that my opponent got a, got very lucky this game, and uh, 
you know, I, I, in a way, I don't feel like I necessarily lost to my opponent, because, uh, spoiler alert, I end up losing this game, who would have thought, um, but I, I definitely feel like um, I definitely could have made better plays, and watching back this game definitely, sh you know, helped show me that, obviously. She goes for the air slash, gets another crit, by the way. <laughs> that one I kind of mattered, actually. You know, having more health on Glow King would have been really good. Um, I don't think it would have changed the outcome of the game, but, um, you know, would have been nice. But, uh, Bundle can come in, um... And, you know, of course, I have to take that poison tick because I'm bringing it in this way. And I just say, screw it. We're hitting a hydro pump because uh, he's like, he's going to come in, bring either leave this thing in. It's going to die to the pump or he's going to switch out the gold dango and that. So, yeah, um, yeah, honestly, if I did, I honestly think if I didn't get poisoned, I think I was good. I, I, I don't think that he uh, I think I, I was good because there was nothing that he had that could outspeed it. I could constantly just keep hitting moves with bundle on switches and then flip turning out. There was nothing he could do to stop that. So yeah, um, Shadow Ball comes off because Sea Berry actually pops, which is great. So uh, I'm able to actually finish off this Goldango with a flamethrower, um, which is cool. Um, so at least it is down to a 1-0. Uh, I have no no recovery like slack off or anything like that. This thing uh, is gonna come in. Uh, I can just he can finish me off with pretty much anything and chooses to go for psycho boost, which is pretty cool You know, I'll get to see that animation. That's cool animation, but um, yeah, I, I'm obviously very frustrated about that game uh, I'm definitely very frustrated about the game. I think that I prepped really well uh, I'm not gonna lie, but uh, I felt like I didn't lose to my opponent. I felt like I lost to the game uh, you know, just favoring hacks in their favor. So, but that's not to be, not to take anything away from Nico. Um, they played well, um, for the most part. And I'm happy with, uh, with at least getting a one Oh, so, uh, hopefully going forward though, bundle, uh, we can, we, we can dodge the fraud allegations and show y'all how good bundle can actually be. So, uh, I think that we got a little bit of a taste of it this game and uh, yeah, that's pretty much about it um, Obviously very frustrated still about this game as you can tell uh, I'm still a little salty even doing post -com, but you know, it is what it is So that's gonna be it for me today though guys. Thank you all so much for watching and uh, It's the bundle comeback time. Let's go. We got this so got a few more weeks of the season but we got our bundle boy on the squad and i'm feeling confident so um but yeah thank y'all so much for watching like comment sub all that fun stuff i love y'all deuces